this page in the inquiry website called numerical data and it goes through a bunch of information about how we can use tables and graphs to communicate information and if we keep scrolling down to where the resources are there are a number of existing sources of user information that we can use so i'm going to use this first one called figure.nz now let's say my problem is to do about coming to school on the bus so if i type that in um, to this uh, website and i'm just going to use school transport and it's come up with new zealand graphs based on those keywords and if i scroll through here i can see okay we've got some graphs on the main means of uh, people traveling to education that's all very well and good i wonder if i can get more specific about like teenagers uh, look there's international visitors coming by train by ferry cycle there's all these different versions of this data so by scrolling through i can find something a little bit more specific so maybe this one here so students aged 10 to 14 who usually go to school by school bus and it's by region so i can see here that in the bay of plenty 24.6 percent of students come by school bus that's a pretty useful uh, bit of insight so that indicates it's quite a large problem a quarter of the students so i could make a copy of that and include that into my research the second site that i can use is the census at school survey so this is a survey that's done by tens of thousands of new zealand school students and I can have a look at the questions. I'm going to choose the 2021 questions because I reckon there's going to be more students who would have answered those. So I can look, there's a whole bunch of questions that those students were answered. And if I look down, there was actually a question about how they got to school and how long it took. So that again, if I analyze the survey results from that question, will give me some insight into um, the problem. So if I go to, I want to explore a sample of that data, I click on the yes, I agree. And again, I'm going to choose the 2021 because I'm assuming that's going to have more responses. And I might change the region here and maybe I want to look at just the Bay of Plenty. I could look at a specific year, I could look at a specific gen gender, but I'm going to look at the Bay of Plenty. And I want to select specific variables. I only want to look at those questions about transport. And so if I scroll down, I eventually get to, uh, yep, school, the travel method to school, and the travel time to school. And then I go down and I want a random sample. And I want the maximum amount that I can get, a thousand. The more people in my sample, the better insights I'm going to get. And rather than download, I can analyze it on the screen. Okay, so after I've, I've clicked that analyze button, it gives me a graph. Now this graph just shows the way that students get to school. And you can see that bus is, is quite popular. It's just over 30% of the population. But I can also add that second variable I selected, which was travel time. And then I get into this dot plot type of arrangement. And that gives me even more insight because down on this bottom scale is the time it takes people to get to school organized by the different ways. And I'm really looking for this box in the box and whisker. And this middle line here is called the median. And that's a fairly good guide to you. So I can see that if people come by bike, the median time for students in the Bay of Plenty is about 20 minutes. Not many people come by boat, so I might ignore that. But look at bus. The median time is about 30 minutes compared to a car, 10 minutes compared to walking, which is even less. So that insight tells me that if students come to school by bus, it generally is the method that takes them the longest. So that could lead to being a little bit frustrating. The last thing I can do is I can actually produce my own form. And if I just type new.form into a browser, uh, sorry, form.new is what I should have typed in, form.new, I get a new Google form. So this is a survey that I can now share with the class and get some opinion or data from the class. So this might be something like uh, coming to school, that's the questions I want to ask. And I don't want to ask 
a lot of questions. I want to see if coming to school is a bit of a frustration, if my problem is, is quite a big deal. So one question I'm going to ask is um, maybe how do you get to school? I've sort of got a little bit of insight about that. And this will be a multiple choice one. I've got these different types of questions I can answer. So I might go bus, walk, car, and then I'm going to put other. Okay, then I'm going to put other. Then I'm going to add another question. And I really want to see if students are annoyed or frustrated. And I might word the question something like, uh, you know, are you satisfied with the way you get to school? Let's spell right. And in this type of question, I can use a scale score, a linear scale, to capture that opinion. And I might say that one is not at all satisfied. And five is really satisfied. And I could add a couple more questions in there. But when I send that out, this is what it's going to look like to those people filling that in. So I'm going to know the, what, the way that they mainly come to school and if they are satisfied. And if you want to send that survey out once you've completed it, you go to send. And there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can add in people's email addresses or use the link. So the best way is probably copy the link and share that with people who you want to give the survey out to. And after you've been able to gather some responses, you go to the responses tab, and you can see here that uh, with a multiple choice question, you get a nice pie graph. So this shows uh, most of these respondents came to buy bus. And then with that scale score, it shows you the a bar chart of the number of responses. So a fairly even response. And if you want to include those in your research, you can just copy that chart and paste it into your slide. So there are three ways that you can get user data. Don't forget about interviewing experts. Second one, using an existing survey data form. And the third one is making your own. So choose one of those to include that numerical data in your innovation.